welcome to today's video. I'm going to bring you through today my bulking booty routine. This is the workout I've been doing all through my bulk. So you'll see in this workout, the first three compounds are what I do every single booty day. And then after that, the accessories kind of vary. I'll bring you through a pretty basic routine today. I also wanted to let you guys know that this video is actually sponsored by Gymshark. I'm so grateful that they wanted to work with me on this video and I'm gonna show you guys a little fit check. Okay, so we are wearing the Adapt Camo Seamless Shorts with the yellow V-neck training bra. And then over top we got this training pullover because it's a little bit cold here in Texas and this is the fit. Today, when this video comes out at 2 p.m. Eastern time, their Black Friday sale starts so you can get up to 70 percent off select styles the link to shop is down below okay so let's get right into the workout i start off all my glute focused workouts with back squats so i do these focused on my progressive overload i know what i can do for my lower rep days that may be sets of you know anywhere from like two to five and i know i, I can do for my higher rep days maybe in the reps of like six to ten so it really varies sometimes i go in phases of doing low reps sometimes high um, I honestly go with what my body feels. Sometimes I can tell my strength isn't the best and I should keep it light and go really high rep or the opposite. I feel heavy and I want to test some new lower rep PRs. Today, I thought I was actually going to increase weight and slowly drop the reps, but I really surprised myself. I increased weight from 135 to 175 and did 10 reps all the way through. And this last set coming up, I actually only recorded on my phone because I wasn't expecting it to be that good, but I got 175 for 10, which is honestly a massive rep PR. I was very surprised. The bulking calories are doing me right. I had a lot of energy. I was going to go for maybe six and I got 10. So I was very surprised and only videotaped it on my phone. But yeah, that's focused on progressive overload, really making sure I'm paying attention to the numbers and weight I'm using and keeping track. And then after this, I go into my heavy barbell RDLs. These are a new staple for me. I always do these in three sets of 10 to 12 and focus on upping my weight in that rep range only so far i've gone from 135 up to like 155 so we're already making progress just in this short amount of time that i've been implementing them which has been from the start of the book till now so basically end of september to early november and of course the pump cover came off that's when we got way too hot this is extremely extremely challenging for form tips on this you're going to make sure you have that double overhand grip then Keep your neck in line with your spine and things sending your butt to the wall behind you with a slight bend in your knees. The bar doesn't have to go all the way down, just to about mid shin. So three sets of 10 to 12 on those. Then I go into hip thrust. This is also always the same rep range, four sets of 10 to 15. Today, I kept it more um, on the lower end. I think I got 15 for one set, but then kind of dropped it because at the end I did a hold at the top, as you see here. I prefer using this machine it's honestly just personal preference. You can use a barbell. You can use a Smith machine. It truly doesn't matter that much. I just really like the contraction I feel on this machine. I think it gives a nice burn. And I like that the setup is 10 times easier. I know we're only in the third exercise, but if you do the first two right, by now you should be winded. So these aren't going to be super heavy. I'm not really doing them for like insane weight. I'm more so trying to see how controlled I can do them and how well I can keep my mind muscle connection while slowly implementing progressive overload. Okay, so those were like my three main compounds that stay the same every single glute and hamstring focused leg day. I will always be doing those at least till the end of my bulk until I get bored because I like to change things up. Here I am doing my dumbbell deadlift. So basically mimicking like a sumo deadlift, but with a dumbbell, keeping pretty lightweight, really focused on the tension on my glutes rather than engaging a lot of my quads. So I'm actually really hinging back, putting the dumbbell back toward like my heel rather than like straight below me. Also, I mean back check, hello. But I keep this pretty light because like I said, my legs are already dead. I just like to really burn them out with these three sets of 12. This gets pretty much sub for any other deadlift or squat variation with the dumbbell. Next, I go into hamstring curls. I like to do different variations. So I'm actually doing 
two sets of these single leg on the way down. So you go up with two, down with one, and I do eight on each leg. Trust me, guys, these are killer. So I do two sets of eight on each leg, and then I actually go into two sets of 10 with both legs. I like doing both variations. To me, I just feel like I'm really working my hamstrings so they can't go anymore. Those single leg ones are extremely hard, so I like to do those light and then add weight for the both legs. Building your hamstrings is gonna help with the strength of all those compound movements, but it's also gonna help your butt pop from the underneath. If you've ever seen something like under booty or whatever, that's just making sure your hamstrings are nice and strong and tight, and this is what's gonna give you that. You can use any hamstring curl machine variation your gym has. I just personally like this one the best. Next, I think this is one of the best glute exercises, especially for that shelf look, if you know what I'm talking about. The rep scheme I do for this varies. Sometimes I'm feeling three sets, sometimes four. Today I did three sets of 10 to 12 of these hyper extensions. You want round back with a lot of tension in your glutes. I wish I could go heavier, but the dumbbells at my gym aren't really near it, so I can't carry a heavy one all the way here. Also, this machine is not my favorite, so I may look kind of awkward, but trust me, I'm feeling it all in my lower back, glutes, and hamstrings. Then I had so much energy because these bulking carbs are just hitting me, so I finished out with body weight step-ups just until I felt like it because I just still had energy to burn. Step-ups are really good for glute growth, but to be honest, I hate doing them heavy. I just get really bored of them, so I just threw it in here as a little burnout, and I mean, you can see the pump. I mean, my God, look at those shorts too. Wow. This took me so long. I did a little bit more than normal, but that's because these bulking carbs are really hitting me and I have so much energy. I could honestly keep going, but I think I need to stop. So <laughs> yeah, it's time to cool down and all of that, but that workout was amazing. So back home now, and I just wanted to add that a major important part to this, hello Sam, okay, to, <laughs> to this bulking booty routine is eating enough carbs, girls. I had a giant bowl of oatmeal in the morning, a big bowl of cereal when I got back, and now for lunch, I'm having a bagel. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm always posting like daily bagels. So eating your carbs is so important. A lot of people just focus on the protein, but carbs is probably even more important, honestly. So make sure you're getting those in. If your goal is to grow your glutes because that routine won't do anything for you, if you're not fueling yourself properly. So I'm gonna eat this and get my workday started. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like seeing my workouts, make sure to follow me on Instagram because I post more of them on there for you guys to see. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.